Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. A new Let's Play, Stranded Deep. So I uh, finished off the Surviving Mars, and uh, we got our butts handed to us, sadly enough. Uh, we will be back on Mars uh, sooner rather than later, but not today. So today we are uh, back in Stranded Deep. I had played this a while back on uh, version 0 0.51 and had, uh, well, let's pause it so we can talk. Uh, so um, I'd been waiting for the update to come out for quite a while. They've put out two experimental releases. So currently you can see down here we're on 0 0.53 experimental. I know there's a couple of things that evidently do not work or don't work right. I don't know exactly what they are, but we will find it out. But I wanted to go ahead and update it. Uh, also, I am playing with one custom island. I believe it's that one right there. Uh, it's called The Lighthouse. It is available on uh, Steam. And uh, anyway, we will get going. So uh, let's see, that's an Ajuga. We'll pick that. I don't think we have to worry about snakes on the first island, although this is experimental. That could change. I have never played on experimental, by the way. So, all new to me. All right, there's an aloe vera. Uh, speaking of aloe vera, we are in September. We might have some heat stroke issues. We will play that by ear. You notice I am also killing crabs while I'm walking around. Normally I do that later on. Ooh, some cloth. Uh, while, um, oh, there we go. We'll go ahead and grab that crate since I see it. Well, come on. There we go. Uh, let's put the ajugas in there and then we will grab that. Uh, these things here, these will not hurt you. The regular starfish will not hurt you. Uh, it's just these those big purple ones that have the uh, those right there. When you get close, they will stick out their little stickers, and they will poison your butt. So don't step on them. Everything else, you're pretty much okay. Cloth, a pippy. I like pippy. Come on. Another crab. So yeah, one of the things I started doing uh, on my solo plays recently was gathering the crabs on my initial go through the island because by the time I finish my go through, I usually it, it's usually dark and I can't see it anymore, right? Uh, let's see, we're getting full there. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just, there's another purple thing to watch out for. Be careful of uh, that little dangerous thing there. Grab a couple more rocks. Couple more rocks. Checking around for some more crabs. All right, let's go ahead and get inside the island here. And we can start taking stuff apart, start doing some crafting. All right, we do have a potato in here. Tell you what, that's a that's as good a place as any, right? Let's uh let's drop that. Pick that back up. We will drop these over in the corner there. What do I want to do with these guys? Probably right in this corner here would be a good place. I'm going to go ahead and drop this over here. 
Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take that out. We'll put the cloth inside. Some rocks we'll put right in here. And let's, uh, let's drop the crab right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and cut down these yuccas. So if you're not familiar with the game, or even if you are, but you don't know, so the fibrous leaves are the best source of, yep, and I need to cool down. Great. That sucks. So we're going to try to tuck up into some shade here. And it's going to keep us from getting a whole lot done, unfortunately. Um, did I get all those? And another yucca here. So not a bad starting island with, uh, with three yucca plants. That gives us 18 fibrous leaves, if we can find them all. Come on. All right, we're good. Uh, where was I putting these? I forget. Okay, there's a stick. We're going to put there. Oh, there they are over here. Let's get back up in the shade if we can. Yeah, over here is much more better. Uh, let's see. Let's grab. Let's grab a coconut. Only one on that tree. I'm gonna drop it here. Let's do another rock. And let's do a fibrous leaf and a stick. So we're gonna do that. All right, and I need two more rocks. I think I need two rocks. Do I need two rocks for No, I just need one, a stick, and a lashing. Then we'll come back over here. We'll make our refined knife. I'm going to drop the knife right here with the crabs. All right, it is 130, 102 degrees. So I need, I'm gonna take a cloth. So because we don't have tarps in the game anymore, I'm not exactly sure what we need. All right, three rocks, a lashing. Three rocks. There's the lashings, three rocks, a lashing. Uh, where is that coconut? There it is over there. Let's go ahead and drink that. Drop it. Then we'll get a little food out of here. All right, that's good. All right, so three rocks, a lashing. Okay, I do need another coconut. Right there. Let's do a lashing there. Come back over here. We'll make the coconut flask. I'm going to go ahead and drink that now. And I need a palm tree. I don't like to cut down the big ones. So let's come over here. I 
and see if we can cut that one down. Okay, chop this up. Get our palm fronds. All right, back up into here. Uh, right here. Oh, okay, well, you know what? Let's pull that out of there. <laughs> Just to have it. All right, I want... What do I have in here? Okay. We're going to drop that one right there. Four. That's good. All right. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to grab. I had a fibrous leaf there. We'll get this loaded up. Awesome. So that's going. I'm going to run down and grab a. Uh, all right. It's under 100 degrees. So let's get out. Um, actually, you know what? Let's try. All right, we'll do our fire. Where's those crabs? Right here. So let's do that there. All right, there is our ring. I think I need that. Let's check. I need a cloth, a lashing. lashing and three sticks so we'll come back over here all right there is our smoker we've got fire oh you know what else I need I need crap I got one stick let's chop this down here It's kind of a race the first day to do as much as you can during the daytime so you can still see. All right, I need kindling. So we're going to drop kindling right in front. And then we need three sticks, four palm fronds. One, two, three. That sucks. All right, let's just drop these sticks here for right now. Uh, the coconut will drop up here. The palm fronds, we're going to drop right there. All right, the fishing spear, I'm going to drop out here on the beach. Then let's make the rounds and see if we can't find some more palm uh, fibrous leaves there's one all right that'll make me a lashing awesome okay so three sticks four palm fronds one two three four three sticks and we can build a shelter i'm going to build that uh, right there so you have to have a shelter in order to save all right we've got our drugs right there our medicine not our drugs okay looks like another fibrous leaf wish i would have got some more uh oh there's a crab there awesome Okay, rock, come on, pick up. All 
another rock, another rock. You can see how hard it is to see in the water after a while. All right, while we're here, let's get into our storage. You always start off with three rations, a, ba a bandage, and a compass. I'm going to take one of those. You can see we are bottoming out. That helps us out a good bit. All right. Fibrous leaf. Okay. Oh, you know what? We did find that uh, trunk, did we not? We had a light in there. Yes, we did. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, let's take this coconut and put it there. Uh, find our rocks. They were right up in here. We've got our fire, so we can drop our crabs right there. Let's go ahead and start our fire so we can see a little bit in here. We have five crab, and you can cook five meat at a time. So we'll go ahead and get our first food going. All right, you're there. Refined knife. Hello? Hello? Where are, there it is, awesome. All right, I like to put it in a chest if I can, but until I go diving and get all of those. So you can see the objective, use the right mouse button to drop the meat onto the fire, but yeah, that we're not gonna do that. <laughs> We've got the smoker. You put it on the uh, on the little patch on the little line there. All right, uh, let's see you this way. Maybe. Crap, I don't remember. Where did we put it? I don't remember. Oh, over here. Uh, in fact, I think it was right here. You know, the last time I did this, I lost some because I couldn't get it out from underneath. All right. Well, you know what? We'll do it right in front. That's fine. All right. Let's go back out while that's cooking away. Starting islands, again, typically no snakes. I've never seen one, knock on wood, on a starting island. First time for everything, I suppose. And this is an experimental build, so it could all be different as far as I know. So right now, we're just this is just the gathering resources stage, and that's mostly what the game is, is gathering of resources. All right, we got a stick there. All right, there is our, so we started here. Doesn't mean I didn't miss anything, but I have not combed through the inside yet. All right, so I want, I already crafted a hammer. Oh, no, I have not. I don't want a hammer yet. Uh, stick. Oh, there's a fibrous leaf that we missed earlier. Good. Oh, there's a young palm that we can get. Good. I can't cut that down, which is too bad. There's a stick. All right, that's a yucca cutting. So these are relatively new. And what you can do with these is you can pick these up and these are used in farming. You, 
you can plant those in a planter and uh, start your and do your farming with that. All right, let's chop down a couple of trees here. Just a couple, just to have some extra wood. There was a stick right there. All right, let's kind of go through. So let's see, we have a mineable resource. That's going to be stone, but I need a pick. And we need leather to make that. I do not have leather yet. All right, nothing in here. We have some potatoes. Potatoes you can use to make uh, fuel for your gyrocopter later on. All right. Just looking to see if I missed any fibrous leaves in the interior section. So just a tip is the fibrous leaves and the yucca plants regrow every two in-game days. So if you cut those, if you cut them all down, they will start to grow back. All right, so we have smoked small meat. Those are ready to go. All right, if we take a look, we are two bars down on food. So we'll eat two small meats and that fills us up. Uh, I am going to drop these on top of the chest there. Let me grab my refined knife. We'll take out the last crab. I think that was the last one. It was. So we'll drop that back there. We'll toss one more meat up there and let it be cooking away. Uh, let's see, where did our sticks go? They were around here somewhere. Takes me a little while to kind of remember. Uh, you know what, I think I was just putting them over here, which is fine. All right, so let's see, we are down three waters. So I am going to get one coconut, and then we'll drop that. We'll take two sips, so we're full there. And let's see. Where? Over here. All right, so we need two of those. Oh, and we put those into the bottom down there. Good to go. I want to go ahead and knock down. This is a small tree here. So if you remember during the daytime, we were getting sunstroke. So you want as much shade. So in this central area, you, you, you cannot cut down the big trees, but I want to leave these trees alone too that will cast shade around. And then your palm trees are your best source of shade. So you want to kind of figure out which ones are giving you shade in your central area and then leave those alone. What we can do is I know that the small ones or the outlying ones will be usable. Now, the reason you use fibrous leaves for everything and not the palm fronds, the palm fronds do not grow back. All right, we're going to grab that. You hear the bats? All right. But on the starting island, you can certainly use palm fronds more than you would normally. Once you find the island you want to build on, the coconuts may, may or may not grow back. I don't know for a fact. 
the trees may or may not grow back the small ones i don't think they do but the the fibrous leaves do the yucca plants do but the palm trees once you cut them down they're gone forever so something to be cognizant about The biggest predator in the game is the sharks. They have tiger sharks and great white sharks. They are out in the deeper water, but you can see the, the mast sticking up from a sunken ship there. They can get to that boat, so <laughs> beware. This would have maybe been a better stockpile area. Let me, uh, I'm gonna turn this, there we go. That way I can walk inside. All right, we're gonna drop some more sticks. All right, all right, that is smoked. We're gonna drop it right here so we can find it later. I'm right, gonna go ahead and extinguish the fire so it doesn't burn out. You can see the solid white line from like six o'clock to midnight. That means that's how much wood is left. The side with the thin white line is empty. Now we can take two sticks and we can load that back up so one stick is 25 percent same thing with your water you see that 75 percent full that means we have three drinks of water we have one leaf that just filled up so now it's full and so i am going to take the palm fronds here because i don't need them anymore and then i'm going to drop that there that shouldn't go to waste uh, let's see, I am going to hack up that. I'm going to pick up one piece. We're going to eat it. And I'm going to drop that coconut. Now that coconut will go bad if I don't eat it after a while. So small meat does one bar, medium meat does two bars, and large meat does three bars. Also gives you uh, leather. So anyway, we have survived our first day. We have water, we have food. Let me go drink another sip of water. One sip, it's full, so it'll replenish that. We've got fire if we need it. We can cook food. Now the potatoes, again, use those in a still that we can, we can make later. Uh, to make fuel for a gyrocopter and our boat motors. Forgot about that. Don't forget the boat motors. Now, the other thing is you don't have to sleep every night. So you can see the, the little bar to the right with the Zs. That's your tiredness meter. Uh, I'm not tired in the least, but as you can see i've done everything on the island that i really need to do and the only the next thing i want to do is try to go out and dive on the wrecks but i don't want to go out there where i can't see oh you know one thing we can do uh let's go ahead and We're going to make eight spears. They stack in stacks of four. Most everything in the game does. See, I don't need that yucca cutting. I'm just going to leave it there. It'll disappear on its own. Uh, let's go and put our light up. And I've got my axe. I've got my spears. So we are ready to go out and dive. So I tell you what, let's get a couple of hours. Oh, you know what we can do? Where is, I can make a lashing. I can make a flask. All right, let me go ahead and drink the flask. So it's empty now if I drop it and look at it, or actually I take that back. If I look at it in my inventory, you see it says zero serving, so it's empty. Uh, let's go over to uh, 
over here. So we have enough aloe and the flask to make an aloe salve. So what that does is it's one dose, it's natural sunscreen to prevent sunburn. So we'll use that in the morning and then we can venture around the island uh, without fear of getting sunstroke. Oh, another rock. Hey, you do, you, you miss stuff, you know, even going around multiple times. Rocks are always good. Another stick, awesome. So I'm going to make another run around the island. I'm going to wait until morning and we'll come back then for next episode and we'll go out and dive on these wrecks and see if we can't find some goodies. So we'll see you guys then. Hit the like button if you don't mind. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and we will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.